Welcome back to Caught Express on CCTV News. Well, believe it or not, Chinese New Year is less than a week away, and Chinese around the world are gearing up for the most important traditional holiday. We take you uh, around the wor world now for a look at some of the creative ways of ringing the 2014 Lunar New Year. Mr. Liu lives in the Kenyan capital Nairobi, but he's originally from Beijing. Today, he's making a must-have snack for the Chinese New Year, sticky rice cakes. But he's blending a native ingredient from Kenya. I added a special type of Kenyan nuts to the recipe. They are a great combination with Chinese dates. It also symbolizes friendship between the two countries. Meanwhile, a Cantonese-style sticky rice cake is getting creative. Kenyan coffee powder is added with brown sugar to the sticky rice and steamed to make the perfect sticky rice cake. Kenyan coffee is very famous. Adding it to my recipe makes it more tasty because the powder is very refined. At the same time, the Sydney municipal government has launched the Chinese New Year celebrations for 18 years in a row. The launching ceremony was held on Friday night and announced over 80 activities including dragon boat racing, lantern shows and a Chinese film festival. The celebrations are the largest series of overseas Chinese New Year celebrations. In China, the Ministry of Culture has announced a fresh initiative to celebrate the Spring Festival across the globe. The project includes a number of top performers and festive celebrations in 294 cities around the world. We want to explore the core meaning of the Chinese New Year and make it a holiday not just of China but for the whole world. The initiative will launch 506 international events and will help bring the Chinese New Year to more corners around the world. Stanley Lee, CCTV.